All right, so down to my moops. I really don't want to bash like products or anything like that, but if I don't like it, I don't like it. The first product would be the Rimmel Volume Colorist. I like it only the fact that it is really, really black and the brush is easy to use because once again, I have very sparse lashes. It usually touches like my lower lash line or anything I have to clean up all the time. So the brush is good. The only gripe I have about this it flakes. And I just talked about the flakes too. I hate flakes on my face. Like it gets annoying every single time I walk around. I just have like little dots on my face. The brush is easy to use. It doesn't lengthen or volumize as much as I would like it to. Um, that's the other thing as well. Probably the only thing that I like about it is it's really, really black. I don't really grab this too much because I'm gonna, I know that it's gonna flake off a lot. So I'll leave this off to the side. It's like an emergency type of deal. So now we're moving on to toners. So this is, ooh. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkled Turbo Line Smoothing Toning Lotion. This thing is expensive as heck. Um, I'm assuming it's because of the gold that's in here. So what it claims is it targets the appearance of the six most stubborn deep wrinkles and expression lines with 18 uh, anti-aging neuropeptides and peptides, uh, helps remove surface impurities and refreshes soften smooth look of skin with pure 24 karat gold, oil free, alcohol free and it's for all skin types. I understand this is for anti-aging. I did not see any results whatsoever and I've used up the whole bottle. Um, another thing I don't like about it other than I did not see any results is it left a weird film every single time I used it. So personally, I don't like that. Um, if you don't mind it, then sure, go ahead. But for me, I hate having a weird film uh, on my face or anywhere on my skin or my hair. It, it doesn't feel natural to me. If I want something on my skin, I want to absorb into it. And just so I know that it's working, the fact that it just left like a weird layer on it, it's just like, really, that's it? It's like, are you doing anything? No, so, this is a pass for me. Another one that's supposed to be gold infused was the Guerlain Lore Radiance Primer. Um, I believe this is just nice to have for like luxury purposes, but um, I really don't think it really did anything for me at all, um, even with the gold flakes. This retails for $82 and this was supposed to firm and give you radiance. Um, I'm normally on the oily to normal combo side, um, so I use this during the winter time. It was okay. It wasn't anything like worthy of me like going, oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep this and be buying this. I know a few other YouTubers like Tati, Jeffree Star, um, when they used this, they felt like firming, like they, they felt like the skin was tightening up. I did not feel that to be quite honest. I just felt like it was just a film over my face, like it did nothing. I was like, okay, am I supposed to feel some lifting action or is it supposed to do something to my skin for like skincare wise? Did absolutely nothing. So once again, this was a high price ticket item. I spent $82 on it. Um, so I, I thought I might as well use the whole thing since I spent so much money on it. So, but. It, really, it didn't do anything for me, so it's a pass. So these next products are a... I don't hate it, but I don't love it too much. They work, but there's something that I don't like about it kind of issue. Um, so I don't really know where to really categorize these as. Um, but anyways, this is a Juice Beauty. It is a green apple peel. It is full strength, apparently. So I got this as a deluxe sample. It's supposed to come in a jar. Um, just looking at the Sephora website, it does retail for $60 for 4.5 ounces. It's supposed to reduce uh, fine lines, help with dark circles. My only gripe about this is just reading the word green apple. I thought it was gonna have this green apple smell to it. Like it's gonna be sweet and everything or sweet and sour. Like You, you, you guys know how green apple tastes like. It smells nothing like that. I can't get past the smell. I'm sorry. I use this maybe like a couple of times. It does what it claims it for my skin, but the smell is horrendous. I, I can't do it. I might use it like once in the blue moon, um, but I can't use this uh, like two times a week or whatever. Um, so I'm on the fence with this. I don't know if I sh should continue to use this or give this to my friends or 
to have my boyfriend use it, I don't know, but uh, it, it's kind of hard for me to really decide on this one. So I will keep this in mind, um, put it off to the side somewhere. Next one I would have would be liquid liner. So a long time ago, probably maybe a year, maybe not even a year ago, everyone who's into anime, into Sailor Moon, would know about this. So Sailor Moon came out with their range of makeup, with eyeliner, blush. They came out recently with, I think, brushes and like a little compact uh, either foundation or something like that. So I got really, really excited for the eyeliner. And I love this because I am a diehard Sailor Moon fan. And it comes with a little wand. Like, how cute is this? There's a few downsides to this. Um, because this is imported, um, is stupid expensive. Like this was thirty to thirty-five dollars. Pacific Mall will sell that amount. I got this maybe at um, the Sailor Moon convention a while back, and was expensive. So the good thing is it is pigmented. It glides on beautifully. The brush is amazing. It's really, really, really black. So I was really surprised at that. Um, the only downside I find to this is over time when you keep using it, it does dry up. In certain places so it kind of like bunches up um, near the base so somewhere at the bottom of the brush there will be dry pieces and it'll be hard to do your eyeliner because um, these are the type of uh, liners where it dries pretty quickly and if you go over it it will like take some of it off it'll be patchy so you kind of have to work quickly with this as well it's not a bad thing um, it comes down to personal preference I for me, it depends on how my day is. If I'm having a, a terrible makeup day, I will want my eyeliner to, to cooperate, and this doesn't cooperate, I will get furious, but there are days where this works just fine, so whatever. So it just depends on the person. Personally, I'm not mad at it, but I it does get a little irritating where sometimes when in the morning I'm getting ready and I have to basically kind of clean off the brush and take all these little dry bits off of it, so... So lastly, what I have is the MAC Chromaline Blackest Black Gel Liner. Now, you can only get this in uh, certain MAC stores in Canada. I got this on, I believe it was Queen and Spadina. Um, so, when in high school, I used to use their Black Track Fluid line, uh, Liner. And that was my favorite. Like, I seriously love that. It was black, it was in patchy, it did not uh, smudge or anything like that. It was great. I loved it love using gel liners back then so I kind of wanted to get back into that again so I saw they had a chroma line which is supposed to be better waterproof so I wanted to give this a go so when I did apply it 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 is patchy it's not a fluid black um, line as I would hope it would be so when I actually first tried it it was patchy once again it it glided on well. You kind of have to work fast with this because it dries very quickly. So if you go over it, it will pick up some product and like become patchier than it already is. So it's 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 a little annoying there. So I have to use a different eyeliner to go over it to make it even more black, a little bit more intense and pigmented. So there's a little bit of a downside there. Um, so I still use it for my eyeliner, for my lids, um, but. I also use it for my waterline as well because it does not smudge um, underneath my waterline so that is a great thing as well. So depending on how you want to use this product, whether you want to put it on your waterline or use it as a like regular eyeliner for your lids, do keep in mind that you might have to use a second product to go over it to intensify the color because it's not pigmented enough even though it's called black is black. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!